Alright, so first up we have Oli with his design. This is just kind of an afternoon of doing some building. So, tell us what you got here, Oli. Um, I just got a few pieces of wood screwed together and made a quick catapult. Alright, describe uh, what kind of power this thing operates on. Um, it's manually powered, so you'll just push it down and then it shoots. It didn't shoot that far. Okay, so you just like this. Oh, I like how you added the tape on there yeah. to show where the handle is. So you just force this down and yeah. does it hit the bottom or no no it hits this hits right it's up against wood. that okay so oh it hits there so that's your hard stop to make it yeah. launch so as this that makes sense so as this comes around that's going to hit you can see where it's been hitting right there and that's the hard stop to make it launch and then we've got a little bit of ammo in there you just been launching rocks right all right so let's have you launch that see what kind of distance we get Oh, not too bad. Not too bad. Very good. Do you want to launch another item? Maybe this ball? Or is that too heavy? Of oh, can I launch it actually? Yeah. Here, you hold, to break it. you hold the camera. Okay. <laughs> I'll try not to break it. So, here we go. So, three, two, one. Not too bad. I didn't go super hard because I didn't want to. I didn't want to damage it. All right, so moving on to the next design. Next contestant is Johan. Wow, and now this thing has quite the arm on it. So tell us what you got going on here, Johan. So this is spring powered. Um, I found this old spring in the pit. It's actually pretty strong. It's long and springy. Okay. So it's kind of nice. Um, and then... I like how you use the pallet as your base. That looks pretty good. Uh, could you do a demonstration for us? Golf ball. All right, so a golf ball loaded up, and I see you just used like a random container with some drawings in it as the. Okay, hold on, let me get behind you. All right, go ahead. Not bad. Good girl, Poppy, go get it. We've got Poppy collecting everything. And then final design, built by Simeon and I. Mostly, yeah. Yeah. Um, this one here is weight powered, so this would be classified as a trebuchet. Um, and you can see we used an old table as the base. We've got a ripped volleyball as the uh, basket. And then for the weight, we just have this five gallon pail with a bunch of blocks and stuff in it. So we're gonna go ahead and fire this thing. Um, Simeon, you know how to use the lever. So this is the latch on it. When we push this lever down, it releases the arm and the thing swings around and throws. Kind of have to back up a ways so you can see how it works. Okay, go ahead. Okay, go ahead. Oh, what happened? <laughs> oh, that was a record. <laughs> that was a record. What? <laughs> where the? <laughs> I didn't even see where it went. Okay, so um, apparently our handle, our handle ripped off. That's um, that's happened before. So. <laughs> Um, that's... <laughs> it's we're supposed to go that way. <laughs> it's, oh, no. It's, yeah, okay. So, um, that has not... Actually, that did happen once before. We're on our second pail. See, this was our first pail. Oh, no, wait. That's our second pail. That was our first pail. This is our second pail. This is the weak point. It rips out right there. So, we actually should use, like, a piece of rope or something tied through the plastic. Okay, so we got it fixed. Got our rope. Um, that's going to be much better than the handle because it actually goes through the plastic and doesn't just pull out really easy. We can add more weight to the bucket to increase the throwing power. Um, go ahead and show how it's loaded. So you pull the rope down and then you slip this little knot over the end here. And we figured out it's important for this rope right here to be shorter than that rope. That's what uh, causes it to release because um, as this pouch right here is swinging around, here, let me see it. So as this pouch is swinging around at that last bit, if that rope is shorter, it's going to pull off the end at just the right moment, and you can kind of get it adjusted to where it needs to be. Okay, so.
so there's that and a ball I don't think anything else broke but drop it down and just pulling up on our lever here to lock it in position all right you let go uh, I'll let you press the launch button okay. all right yep go <laughs> Oh, it didn't come undone. That's also a first time, which is so embarrassing. I feel like the lever's not Why not? Okay, well, just do it with your hands this time. It was working fine a little bit ago. We didn't change the length of this, did we? Oh, the board came off, too. Woo! Yeah, get rid of the... Okay. We'll try one more time, and if it doesn't work, then we got to do a little more it's testing. Too, like, snaggy. Yeah, just leave it off. So here we go. <laughs> we try three. So Johans and Oli's are much more reliable, apparently, than ours. Okay. Three, two, one, go. There we go. Out of the park, kind of. I don't know what they're trying to hit. Alright, fire! But I think you get the point. So, that's the trebuchet. Oh, the rope uh, shortened a little bit. We might do a little more tune up, but that has been the fun testing that we've been doing this afternoon. So, Hope that you enjoyed, and we'll talk to you in the next video. Anything else to say? Uh, uh, I'm building another one. Maybe part two will be on Ollie's channel. That would be good. <laughs> yeah. All right. Talk to you later.